Today you join me from the driver's seat of a 1992 Ford Escort van, but... <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, this has an RS2000 engine in it. Now this is Jason's car from JW Autoshine, and I must say a massive, massive thank you to him for letting me take this awesome, awesome RS2000 converted van out for a drive today. It has the two litre 16 valve 150 brake horsepower RS2000 engine. That is mated to a five speed MTX 75 gearbox. And it also has the RS2000 front brakes put on the front. So it has the stopping power, it has the right gearbox in it, and it has that fantastic engine that absolutely roars its arse off. Such a cool combination in what is reality is pretty much a sleeper in my books. Oh. <laughs> oh wow, this thing is so much fun. Oh. Blip down a gear over the crest down. Oh she absolutely flies. For a van, this is a 1992 van with 150 brake horsepower of pure RS2000 engine. The brakes to keep up with it, the wheels and tyres, the combination just works on this van. It drives like a really well put together car, that's the thing. It hasn't been too bodged, which is quite cool. <laughs> Oh, it makes such a good noise when you plow on into it. The only real difference is that you've got a lighter rear end, it's a little bit more dangerous, which, you know, is part of the fun. The old school Ford lovers out there on my channel will really appreciate this van because it's something that, a little bit weird, but bloody cool at the same time. And I love this sort of figure. Concoction of crazy put into an old school painter and decorator's van is just hilarious to me. This van started its life as, you know, I think it was a non-turbo diesel. Then to be, you know, years on with this engine, this suspension, these awesome compromotive wheels, which just absolutely set this van off it sets itself apart from other cars vans that i've driven it's just so different to drive but a bloody good laugh at the same time and i love weird stuff like this this is why i do what i do the vans like this jason hats off to you for having such a cool random build find i love this sort of thing and to be giving it absolute death that's what i've been told to do go and bloody hurt it just at, oh, I love it. I love this sort of stuff. It is so much fun. So guys, let's have a quick look around this 1992 RS2000 Escort van. Now this being the 1992 model, I think it came with a non-turbo diesel engine out of the factory. This now has the RS2000 2 litre 16 valve 150 brake horsepower engine inside underneath the RS2000 bonnet that's been put on as well. At the front we have the Moret headlights, obviously had to be done to this with it being sort of a 90s, early 2000s build. It just works. The compromotive wheels coming down absolutely set the van off. RS2000 brakes just behind them as well. Coming down the RS2000 decals there. And again, you've got that sort of presence of an Escort van with this engine is just hilarious. Coming down, you have the RS2000 badge in JW Autoshine badge just there. Pipe across exhaust system as well all the way through 
double doors at the back. I think Jason wants to actually put an old school lock on this as well. Really, really cool little work vehicle as well. You could use this for work, which is quite funny. Now the back of this van actually has a flipped axle with the gas coilovers at the back. So enough rigidity there, gives it some good lows as well. At the front we have some G-Max coil and spring shocks, um, just to give it a good lowered presence and obviously the handling. Coming inside, I've actually left the fan on for the engine just to make sure she's cool enough for us stopping. Sparco steering wheel, a bit of dish on it there. Clocks as well, You've got the Lockwood clocks just there, a bit more of a race car feel. And again, the RS2000 seats, really supportive. And again, they do fit into this van with the bulkhead and that as well. And of course, you've got speakers in the doors and keep fit windows at the front. Now, I think this van has a full on package. It has the sticky rubber, it has the compromotive wheels. It also has gas coilovers, yeah, gas coilovers on a van, insane. But it works, it all works in harmony together. It gives you such a weird, but really, really cool driving experience. And it's like nothing else I've ever driven, it really isn't. You jump in a big van, it's got two seats, very nice, you know, RS2000 seats in it, dish steering wheel. You expect it to drive and, you know, present itself in a certain way, but it doesn't. It's so much more exciting, it's so much more poised and chuckable as well. You think there's nothing behind me here. All of the weight is, you know, so far forward. And don't get me wrong, if I was ever going to really take this somewhere and really, really give it some beans around a track or whatever, you'd probably notice the, you know, weight at the front, not a lot of weight on the rear, but I don't think that really matters on the road. It, just composes itself so well when we're in a van this is an rs2000 engine in a van and it just works that roar is produced from the pipe across air filter that's been put on the two liter engine really really roars and again this generation of ford it just roars its head off and i love that so much excitement from a van Again, this is a van. It's crazy to me that this, is this good? <laughs> oh, this is just the best fun ever. So much fun. <laughs> Revving right round to 6,000 RPM in a van. Yes, in a van. Oh. Honestly, this thing is just so much fun. I love it. Hats off to Jason for buying it in the first place, getting it running, getting it all presented. You know, it's a old school, you know, little bit wary at the edges van, but I love that look. The look is that it's been used. It's been, you know, abused down Essex seafront at some point in its life. I love that. It brings out the boy racer in everyone. And I absolutely love that. It's such a nostalgia thing. And that's why Jason bought it. You know, this is the old school way of modifying, the old school way of, you know, presenting your cars, doing the engine swaps and stuff. I think it's so cool though. Stuff like this just, it taps a, a love for cars that you don't really get from other cars that you drive and you build and stuff. To cherish a van, sometimes people don't get that. They really don't get that. But I think a lot of people on, especially my channel, will really get this build this you know project that's happened that someone's put together jason's finished off <laughs> it's just a laugh and I, I love it so guys thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't already subscribe to jamie fyd the channel right down there pick yourself up some fyd merch from the link in the description to support the channel and i'll see you all on the next video cheers guys Woo!